welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, in this video I am going to tell you about International Maritime Dangerous Goods, which are called IMDG code, or stickers. Their purpose, types and classifications will be discussed. What is meant by IMDG code? These code was developed as an international code for the maritime transport of dangerous goods in packaged form, in order to enhance and harmonize the safe carriage of dangerous goods and to prevent pollution to the environment. Types and classification of IMDG codes. Dangerous goods are materials or items with hazardous properties which, if not properly controlled, present a potential hazard to human health and safety infrastructure and or their means of transport. They are stickers defined by the International Maritime Authorizes. There are nine classes of dangerous goods, which are further subcategories. Class 1, Explosives. Subclass 1.1, Explosives with a Mass Explosion Hazard consists of explosives that have a mass explosion hazard. A mass explosion is one which affects almost the entire load instantaneously. Subclass 1.2, Explosives with a severe projection hazard consists of explosives that have a projection hazard but not a mass explosion hazard. Subclass 1.3, Explosives with a fire consists of explosives that have a fire hazard and either a minor blast hazard or a minor projection hazard or both but not a mass explosion hazard. Subclass 1.4, Minor Fire or Projection Hazard consists of explosives that present a minor explosion hazard. Subclass 1.5, An insensitive substance with a mass explosion hazard consists of very insensitive explosives with a mass explosion hazard, explosion, similar to 1.1. This division is comprised of substances which have a mass explosion hazard but are so insensitive that there is very little probability of initiation or of transition from burning to detonation under normal conditions of transport. Subclass 1.6 Extremely insensitive articles consists of extremely insensitive articles which do not have a mass explosive hazard. This division is, comprised of articles which contain only extremely insensitive detonating substances and which demonstrate a negligible probability of accidental initiation or propagation. Class 2, Gases. It has three subcategories. Flammable gas, non-flammable gas. Poison gas, subclass 2.1, flammable gas, gases which ignite on contact with an ignition source, such as acetylene and hydrogen. Flammable gas means any material which is ignitable at 101.3 kilopascals, 14.7 pounds per square inch, when in a mixture of 13% or less by volume with air, or has a flammable range at 101.3 kilopascals. 14.7 pounds per square inch, with air of, at least 12% regardless of the lower limit. Subclass 2.2, Non-Flammable Gases. Gases which are neither flammable nor poisonous. Includes the cryogenic gases, liquids, temperatures of below 100 C, used for cryopreservation and rocket fuels. This division includes compressed gas, liquefied gas, pressurized cryogenic gas, compressed gas in solution, asphyxiant gas and oxidizing gas. A. Non-flammable, non poisonous compressed gas means any material which exerts in the packaging an absolute pressure of 280 kilopascals, 40.6 Ca, or greater at 20 C, 68 F, and does not meet the definition of Division 2.1 or 2.3. Subclass 2.3, Poisonous Gases, Gases liable to cause death or serious injury to human health if inhaled. Gas poisonous by inhalation means a material which is a gas at 20 C or less, and a pressure of 101.3 kilopascals, a material which has a boiling point of 20 C or less at 101.3 kilopascals, 14.7 pounds per square inch which is known to be so toxic to humans as to pose a hazard to health during transportation, 
or in the absence of adequate data on human toxicity, is presumed to be toxic to humans because when tested on laboratory animals it has an LC50 value of not more than 5000 milliliters slash M3. A flammable liquid means a liquid which may catch fire easily, or any mixture having one or more components with any flash point. As example, acetone, diesel, gasoline, kerosene, oil etc. Transportation is strongly recommended at or above its flash point in a bulk packaging. There are three main groups of flammable liquid. 1. Low flash point, liquids with flash point below 18 Celsius. 2. Intermediate flash point, liquids with flash point from 18 Celsius to plus 23 Celsius. 3. High flash point group, liquids with flash point from plus 23 Celsius. Class 4. Flammable solids or substances. Has three subcategories. Which are as follows. Let's have a look at them in details. Class 4. Flammable solids or substances. Subclass 4.1. Flammable solids, for the purpose of this code. Flammable solids means readily combustible solids and solids which may cause a fire through friction. Subclass 4.1, Self-reactive substances. Self-reactive substances are thermally unstable substances liable to undergo a strongly exothermic decomposition even without participation of oxygen, air. Subclass 4.1, Solid Desensitized Explosives. Solid desensitized explosives are explosive substances which are wetted with water or alcohols or are diluted with other substances to form a homogeneous solid mixture to suppress their explosive properties. Subclass 4.1 Polymerizing substances and mixtures, stabilized. Polymerizing substances are substances which, without stabilization, are liable to undergo a strongly exothermic reaction resulting in the formation of larger molecules or resulting in the formation of polymers under conditions normally encountered in transport. Explosives included under class 1 however deactivated or substances specially included under this class by the producer. Subclass 4.2, Substances liable to spontaneous combustion. Subclass 4.2, Comprises. 1. Pyrophoric substances, which are substances, including mixtures and solutions, liquid or solid, which, even in small quantities, ignite within five minutes of coming into contact with air. These substances are the most liable to spontaneous combustion, and two self-heating substances, which are substances, other than pyrophoric substances, which, in contact with air without energy supply, are liable to self-heating. These substances will ignite only when in large amounts, kilograms, and after long periods of time, hours or days. Subclass 4.3, Substances which, in contact with water, emit flammable gases. For the purpose of this code, the substances in this class are either liquids or solids which, by interaction with water, are liable to become spontaneously flammable or to give off flammable gases in dangerous quantities. Class 5, Oxidizing Substances and Organic Peroxides. Subclass 5.1, Oxidizing Substances Substances which, while in themselves not necessarily combustible, may, generally by yielding oxygen, cause, or contribute to, the combustion of other material. Such substances may be contained in an article. Subclass 5.2, Organic Peroxides. Organic substances which contain the bivalent 00 structure and may, be considered derivatives of hydrogen peroxide, where one or both of the hydrogen atoms have been replaced by organic radicals. Organic peroxides are thermally unstable substances which may undergo exothermic self-accelerating decomposition. Class 6, Toxic Substance and Infections Substance. Subclass 6.1, Toxic Substances. 
which are able to cause death or serious hazard to humans' health during transportation. Subclass 6.2 Infectious Substances These are substances known or reasonably expected to contain pathogens. Pathogens are defined as microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, rickettsia, parasites, fungi, and other agents, such as prions, which can cause disease in humans or animals. Class 7, Radioactive Material Radioactive Radioactive material means any material containing radionuclides where both the activity concentration and the total activity in the consignment exceed the values specified in 27221 to 27226. Class 8, Corrosive Substances Corrosive substances means substances which by chemical action will cause severe damage when in contact with living tissue or, in the case of leakage, will materially damage, or even destroy, other goods or the means of transport. Class 9, Miscellaneous Dangerous Substances and Articles and Environmentally Hazardous Substances. These are substances and articles which, during transport, present a danger not covered by other classes. 1. Substances which by inhalation as fine dust, may endanger health. 2. Substances evolving flammable vapor. 3. Lithium batteries life-saving appliances capacitors. 4. Substances and articles, which, in the event of fire, may form dioxins. 5. Substances transported or offered for transport at elevated temperatures Environmentally hazardous substances Genetically modified microorganisms and genetically modified organisms, GMOs, other substances or articles presenting a danger during transport, but not meeting the definitions of another class. That's all for today, I have discussed basics of dangerous goods, see you in the next video.